Some patients with COVID-19 develop severe respiratory illness requiring oxygen therapy. In these patients, oxygen should be administered to maintain the oxygen saturation above 90%. Another strategy that may improve oxygenation is a trial of conscious prone positioning. It is thought that being in a prone position helps to open up areas of the lung, recruiting them so they can be involved in gas exchange. Prone positioning is a simple measure that can be done in most circumstances in patients who are not mechanically ventilated. This could be considered for patients suspected or confirmed to have COVID-19 who require an FiO2 of greater than 28% to achieve an oxygen saturation of 90 to 94%. Consider prone positioning only if the patient is able to communicate and cooperate with the procedure. Only if they can rotate onto their front and adjust their position independently and when they do not have any anticipated airway issues. When moving to prone position, it is important to ensure that there is adequate oxygen therapy with appropriate length of tubing and that the oxygen does not get detached. The reverse Trendelenburg position, that is 30 degrees head up, may aid comfort. It is important to monitor oxygen saturations throughout. If oxygen saturations deteriorate, if the patient is unable to tolerate the position, or if the respiratory rate is greater than 35, or if the patient looks tired and is using their accessory muscles, then return them to the supine position. If the patient tolerates being in a prone position, their oxygen saturation remains stable and they are not in obvious distress, continue the proning process. Ideally, the patient should remain prone for two hours or as long as tolerated. When not in the prone position, aim to sit the patient between 30 to 60 degrees upright Monitor oxygen saturation 15 minutes after every position change to ensure the oxygen saturation is not decreased. An example of position changes are as follows. Lying fully prone with the bed flat. Lying on the right or left side with the bed flat. This may be particularly effective when one lung is affected more. Have the good lung down for self-ventilating patients. Contraindications to proning include if the patient is unable to follow instructions or has difficulty in communications, if there is respiratory distress, the respiratory rate of greater than 35, if there is immediate need for intubation, if the patient is hemodynamically unstable, a blood pressure, systolic blood pressure of less than 90 millimetres of mercury or if an arrhythmia is present. If the patient is agitated or has an altered mental status. If the patient has an unstable spine or thoracic injury and if the patient has had recent abdominal surgery. It is important to monitor the response to position change. A positive clinical response to proning includes a reduction in the patient's FiO2 requirements, a reduction in the respiratory rate, an improvement in oxygen saturation, an improvement in the PaO2 FiO2 ratio, maintenance of these improvements on deproning. Remember, patients should be on continuous oxygen saturation monitoring and expect patients' inspired oxygen requirements to increase when turned back to a supine position, that is, deproned. If a patient does not demonstrate a clinical response to proning after the first session, further proning is likely to be futile.